Good morning, Dan. It's Friday, July 3rd. And without further ado, an excerpt from John Green's Paper Towns. The period was almost over, so Ben and I got up and put our trays onto the conveyor belt, the very same one that Chuck Parson had thrown me onto freshman year, sending me into the terrifying netherworld of Winter Park's dishwashing corps. We walked over to Radar's locker and were standing there when he raced up just after the first bell. I decided during government that I would actually literally suck donkey b****. If it meant that I could skip the class for the rest of the semester, he said. You can learn a lot about government from donkey b****, I said. Hey, speaking of reasons you wish you had fourth period lunch, we just dined with Angela. Ben smirked at Radar and said, Yeah, she wants to know why she's never been over to your house. Radar exhaled a long breath as he spun the combination to open his locker. He breathed for so long I thought he might pass out. Crap, he said finally. Are you embarrassed about something? I asked, smiling. Shut up, he answered, poking his elbow into my gut. You live in a lovely home, I said. Seriously, bro, added Ben. She's a really nice girl. I don't see why you can't introduce her to your parents and show her Casa Radar. Radar threw his books into his locker and shut it. The din of conversation around us quieted just a bit as he turned his eyes toward the heavens and shouted, It is not my fault that my parents own the world's largest collection of black Santas! I'd heard Radar say the world's largest collection of black Santas perhaps a thousand times in my life, and it never became any less funny to me. But he wasn't kidding. I remember the first time I visited. I was maybe 13, it was spring, many months past Christmas, and yet black Santas lined the windowsills. Paper cutouts of black Santas hung from the stairway banister. Black Santa candles adorned the dining room table. A black Santa oil painting hung above the mantel, which was itself lined with black Santa figurines. They had a black Santa Pez dispenser purchased from Namibia. The light-up plastic black Santa that stood in their postage stamp front yard from Thanksgiving to New Year spent the rest of the year proudly keeping watch in the corner of the guest bathroom. A bathroom with homemade black Santa wallpaper created with paint and a Santa-shaped sponge. In every room, save radars, their home was awash in black Santadom. Plaster and plastic and marble and clay and wood and resin and cloth. In total, Radar's parents owned more than 1,200 black Santas of various sorts. As a plaque beside their front door proclaimed, Radar's house was an officially registered Santa landmark according to the Society for Christmas. You just gotta tell her, man, I said. You just gotta say, Angela, I really like you, but there's something you need to know. When we go to my house and hook up, we'll be watched by the 2,400 eyes of 1,200 black Santas. Radar ran a hand through his buzz cut and shook his head. Yeah, I don't think I'll put it exactly like that, but I'll deal with it. I headed off to government, been to an elective about video game design. I watched clocks through two more classes, and then finally the relief radiated out of my chest when I was finished. The end of each day like a dry run for graduation less than a month away.